Now on RTE1, there's some much-needed good news for Callum, while Tanya has some news of her own in Shortland Street. Face it, Scarlet, Hunter's way out of your league. He's a ten. You're not even a two. <laughs> Unless you apologise sincerely to Scarlet Valentine, you are grounded indefinitely. Nice brief, Scarlet. Did you borrow them from your nana? Yeah. Come on, baby, that's not good enough. This is your property, your most expensive asset, and they've damaged it. Sophie Mackay again, am I right? Well, I can't see her being able to do all this by herself. Oh, she's behind it. You know it and I know it. No, please. I don't want to dob in anyone again. That's how this whole thing started. You won't have to dob anyone again, OK? I will. All I'm saying is be careful who you breed with. <laughs> You don't have to tell me. I should tell you about Daniel's father sometime, the lovely Tim. Have it over a drink at the IV. I'm finished shortly and I'm determined not to go home and stew over Callum. All oh, right, you'd rather go to a bar and bitch about him instead. Exactly. You're wrong. <laughs> Justine Jones. Craig, what can I... Hold on, if you can just stop yelling. All right. If you can just tell me what this is about, that... Fine. I'll be at your place in half an hour. Bloody hell. What's the drama about this time? He wouldn't say, but it's to do with Sophie and Scarlett. Again? Oh, rain cheek on that drink then, eh? Looks like it. Hey. Hi. Beth, are you looking for something to do? Uh, yes. Um, I've already changed the linens on four because Mrs Bailey's gone, but I wasn't sure what you wanted me to do next, so I, I am looking for something to do. Yes. Thanks. OK. How'd you like to help Baxter draw up some meds? Um, I've never drawn up meds before. First time for everything. Okay. Um, well, I went through the procedure yesterday with Bryn. I think I'll be okay. Of course you will. Yeah, just keep your eyes on the expert. <laughs> and any time you feel like giving it a go yourself. Right. Okay, you've already got the saline. Normal saline. Then... Hmm. Mix it up. Then draw it up. <laughs> I did it. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah. What's that smell? It's like cat's pee. Oh, is that the medicine? Yeah. And um, why does it smell like cat's pee? Because that's what it smells like, Beth. Did Brenda and I teach you how to do this properly? Um, she went through the procedure with me yesterday, but um, that's what I was trying to tell you before, only I just remembered that you didn't want me to mention her name all the time. Okay, just, so. just stop talking, clean up the mess, and then get Baxter to show you how to do it properly. Okay. And stop quivering. Your nerves are obviously affecting your ability to do the job. Thank you for coming. Be nice if we knew what the emergency was. Oh, I'm sure Sophie can tell you why you're here. Hi. Uh-oh. This must be serious. What did Sophie do this time? Why do you assume that she's done anything? Because she has. She and her little friends have embarked on some sort of vendetta against my daughter. But Sophie assured me this morning that she and Scarlett were best mates. Do you want to tell your dad what you did, Sophie? It wasn't me, OK? Can someone just spit it out? Your daughter and her friends vandalised Scarlett's car in the student car park today. They spray-painted it and took the wheels. Now, the insurance assessors have the car, and you'll be getting the bill for the damages. Sophie? Yes, I was there, but no, it wasn't my idea, and I didn't think it was cool or anything. Of course we will... No. Sophie will pay the bill. 
And Scarlett, I am very sorry. So you were there. At any stage, did you try and stop what was happening? That's okay. I know what it's like when there's a big group. It's hard to be the one to stand up and say something. Thank you, Scarlett. You're very understanding and mature. My daughter has a lot to learn from you. Outside you. Yeah. Sorry, mate. Teenage girls. Please do send us the bill. Oh, don't worry. I will. Oh, um, look, Jake and Scarlett were only young when their mother and I broke up, but I always did my damnedest to make sure that life went on as normal for them. Now, whatever you guys are going through, you just can't take your eyes off the ball. Thank you for the advice. I'll bear it in mind. I'm sorry. Hey, that means Kellen will be in a mood tomorrow. Yeah, until you cheer him up with your brilliant idea for the clinic, chick flick. Oh, he already knocked it back. Hey, why would he do that? It's a great idea, especially the name. He reckoned I hadn't done my research, hadn't done a budget, all that dull as admin stuff. I said I thought he could help me with that. He told me to stop wasting his time. Oh, Pellick. I think I'll walk on the Barney with him and just think. Mm. When are those two not at each other? I mean, I know they only just broke up five minutes ago, but sometimes it's hard to believe they were ever married. Yeah, they've got two kids together. <laughs> I know. I mean, how do they make them? Don't you actually have to like each other and make children together? Stop! I'm trying to cheer you up. Well, there's a better way to do that. Mm -hmm. Come by me a bit. Okay. <laughs> All I want to know is why you didn't think of the consequences. Did it not occur to you that the car would be damaged? Oh, the thing with Scablet's car today was genius. Shut up, Hunter. When did my daughter turn into a pathetic sheep, going along with the crowd, too stupid or cowardly to speak up for herself? Hey, steady on, Justine. You pull us away from everyone we know and dump us in Ferndale and expect everything to be great. You don't understand how hard it is to make friends. I do understand. I had to start again too, remember? Except you were popular from day one. It took you no time to get f Go to your room, Sophie. And you, Hunter. It was just about to get interesting. Go! I don't know why I'm surprised by her behaviour. Look at the role model she's got. Oh, don't be so hard on yourself, Juzzy. You are so pitifully desperate to be liked. You let them get away with murder. Hey, you gave up the right to comment when you screwed your way out of this family. Me and the kids against evil mum. You're loving it. Never mind the effect it's having on them. You don't give a stuff because you're exactly where you want to be. You're the favourite and that's what it's always been about. Bollocks. Funny thing is, now that you've kicked me out, you can't blame me for their behaviour anymore. You have to face it. You're messing up our kids all on your own. Nice work. Where's your lovely wife? You want to drag her out for a drink? She's working late tonight. Oh. I'll drag you out for a drink instead. Uh, sorry, I have to relieve the nanny. <laughs> Tanya! Oh, thank goodness. I was beginning to think you would never come home. You found her then? Yeah, I found her. <laughs> you two are back together. Well, I'm glad you've sorted your love life, Weston, but I'd love to know why you bailed on ED with no notice and no good reason. But he had a good reason. Yeah, I did. See, we got back together. And then we got married. <laughs> what? Oh, my God! Show me the ring! Thank you! That's so exciting! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. 